guys, welcome to another exciting episode of entertainment just here on Thav TV. And today I'm reaching you live from Itafat Fashion Design at number 12A Ebony Road, Port Hackett, River State. Nigeria. And of course, I am your girl, Bethlehem and Macaulay. It's a different destination, but it's still me. And of course, you know how we do it on Entertainment Gist. I bring you the spiciest gist from the world of entertainment during the week. And I've got lots of exciting gist for you. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Hey there. Are you looking to record your videos, do your voiceovers and take your professional pictures? Look no further. With our state-of-the-art newsroom, photography, Kitchen for our food content creators and exclusive children's studio, we certainly can deliver the best studio experience. Our carefully designed studio space can bring your diverse creative content ideas to life. We aim to consistently serve value to our customers far and wide. Come, let Tharv Media give life to your dreams. Tharv Media, a slice of infotainment. Thank you guys for sticking around. So today, I don't know if you recall, some weeks ago, I told you guys about Funke Akindele being nominated amongst four other people for the position of the Deputy Governor of Lagos State under the PDP. Well, guys, she has been selected, yes. It's great that she wasn't just only nominated, but she also was selected, and that is really great. She is now the running mate for the PDP Governorship Candidate of Lagos State, Jan Dor. Now, I am excited because I was saying something like it's one thing for all these ladies to be nominated and, you know, all of that. But it's another thing for them to actually get opportunities to actually sit in these seats of power. And we are hoping that if her party gets to win, she actually does do the things she said she should do. Because she said she's going to improve the well-being of the girl, child and the youth. And we know that politicians are famous for talking and not doing. But let's hope that Funke will be different. And she said she was also going to be putting her acting career on hold to pursue this new path. I am not unaware of the cost of this assignment to my vibrant career, which I must now necessarily put on hold. Well, we wish her best of luck in her new path, and we hope that she does great things. But that is not all. So earlier within the week, Funke caused a little bit of drama because she made fans and followers to believe that she has dropped her husband's name. Now, we don't know if that is true or not, but in a about three minutes video on her Instagram, which was like her campaign video, she just addressed herself as Funke Akindele. Now, we know that she and her husband, recent, her ex-husband, sorry, recently got separated for reasons we don't really know. And people are like, oh, she's dropped his name and this and that, you know, social media, but we don't know for sure. And Really though, whatever she wants to do, she can do. And we wish her the best of luck in her new path and we hope that she does not just talk, but she would actually talk and do. So guys, how many of you remember that veteran Nollywood actor, Kenneth Aguba? Well, he caused a lot of stir on social media because I think a Twitter user found him and made a video of him. Apparently, he was living in a not-so-great living condition, practically homeless. And everybody was reacting on social media, talking and saying stuff. Well, it caught the attention of the senior pastor of OPM, that is Omega Power Ministries, Pastor Chinyere Chibuzo. And he offered him a place to stay, like a house in their free estate, which the church owns. And he also offered to take care of his feeding and everything. Now, not only that, the pastor also offered to take care of the actor's marriage if he finds a lady to marry, but there were terms and conditions. Now, I can't remember all the terms and conditions, but I know one thing was that they have to stay married for at least 10 years. Mm -hmm. And you trust Nigerian girls. They were all like, oh my God, I'm going to marry him. Oh my God, I want him and everything like that. Everybody was like coming for him. And dude is like, nah, I've got taste. I know what I want. So he says, <laughs> this is really funny because he says he must Take note of the must, like, not I will. He says, I must marry a virgin. And not only a virgin, but a virgin from Israel. Like, what? Dude really knows what he wants. Like, he has his own spec and everything. And he's saying, I'm not, I'm not falling for all these Nigerian girls who are just after my money. Uh, well, or whatever it is they're after. And he's like, no, it must be a virgin from Israel. Well, girls in Nigeria, I'm really sorry. I, I feel your pain. I mean, you've lost that cool catch sir i wish you the best like i hope you actually find what you're looking for because you need a lot of luck for that one 
And we all know Chadwick Boseman, right? The Black Panther star who starred in Avengers Endgame and Infinity Wars. Well, sadly, he died in 2020 of colon cancer. But he, I guess he's one of those people that died, but his work still lives on because he was nominated for a posthumous award, which is in the Primetime Emmy Awards. He was nominated for his voicing of a character in an animation series by Marvel Cinematic Universe, which is What If. In the particular episode of What If T'Challa Became a Star Lord. He was nominated in the category of Outstanding Character Voiceover Performance for, of course, voicing T'Challa in the cartoon. Now, it's great to see that even though he's dead, sadly so, I mean, he was a really great and outstanding actor, but even though we've lost him, he still is living on in his works, and I think that's one of the good sides of being in the creative role, because even though the person passes, they still get to live on through their work. And we hope that he's not just nominated, but also gets the award. I mean, that would be really nice to see, wouldn't it? So, guys, this particular one got me feeling a type of way because, I mean, it's Kiss Daniel. And by now, you all should know that I love Kiss Daniel, of course. Anyway, let me try to, like, contain my joy. So, Kiss Daniel was given a plaque by Audio Mac for reaching and surpassing over 300 million streams on Audio Mac. And for me, it's like a very welcome development because we know that the past couple of weeks have been kind of rough for him. You know, what happened at the DMV when he performed? Okay, so if you don't know, he is on a Afro Classic USA tour and he was to perform at the DMV in the US and apparently fans say he kept them waiting for over three to four hours and he really got them agitated. They were upset and everybody was like, what's up with Kiss Daniel and keeping us waiting? They were mad. And eventually they say that when he did show up, he had the DJ play his song for about 30 minutes. And it was really annoying. So when he actually climbed the stage, guess what? Fans were booing him and throwing cups plastic cups and papers at him. They were upset and were like asking for a refund. And I was like, no, you don't have to be like that. Why are you doing that to my man? Even though he doesn't know me, but still, I mean, he's my man. Well, of course, he came out with an explanation and an apology, and he was like, his passport got held at the embassy for hours, and there was nothing he could do, you know? So I knew, I knew there had to be something. I mean, I know Kizana will not just keep his people waiting like that. He's not like that. I mean, he's not like that. Anyway, you guys, that is the much I can take on this episode of Entertainment Gist, but I'll be back real short with the top five for the week. So don't go anywhere. Together, we can take back our country. Now, Nisi. Mama. Jesus. This message is proudly brought to you by Thav Media Limited. Okay guys, I'm back and today's top 5 is the top 5 most paid Nigerian celebrities on Instagram. You will be amazed the kind of money these guys make, like, what? Well, anyway, at number 5, we have Whiskid with 14.9 million followers and he is being paid a total of 77,000 US dollars per sponsored post. That is a lot of money. I know what that could do in my life. And somebody just gets it to post one sponsored post. So imagine if you post like 10 in a month. I don't even want to calculate. Anyway, at number four, we have Tiwa Savage with a total of 15.3 million followers. And she is being paid over 78,000 US dollars. I can just hear figures that I, I, I don't even know how to calculate, but... I'm getting there. I'm certainly getting there. At number three, we have Funke Akindele. I mean, this is not really surprising, given all that she's doing. She's at number three with a total of 15.5 million followers, and she is being paid 83,000 US dollars per sponsored post. Now, before you start killing yourself, this is per sponsored post, okay? It's not everything they post. It's just the ones that are sponsored. And at number two, we have... Yemi Alade. Now, particularly, I'm surprised because I didn't think she had this much followers, but she has a whooping number of 17 million followers. 
on Instagram and she's being paid 88,000 US dollars. Guys, I think I think I really should go into this influencing thing like I think I should really cuz I I need to. I mean, with my what? Two followers? Okay, well, not I have more than two followers, but maybe, I don't know. But anyway, at number 1, we have of course, this is no surprise like Obio himself, Davido, is sitting pretty at number one with a total of 24.6 million followers. Like, did you see the gap? 24.6 million followers. And he's being paid the whooping sum of 128,300 US dollars. Like, why would he not have money to throw around and help people here and there? We get it. Like, these people are making a lot of money from Instagram. So if you know you're not a social media person, you might want to start rethinking that because <laughs> I'm about to start rethinking that. I'm already rethinking that. And I'm just wondering, what am I going to post, though? What do you guys want to see? Tell me. What do you want me to post? Okay, guys, I had a wonderful time on today's episode of Entertainment Gist, and I know you did, too. Thank you so much, Ito Fad Fashion Design, for styling me. I know I look gorgeous, and this pretty dress was from Ito Fad Fashion Design. Please make sure you follow them on all social media handles. And of course, for my lovely makeup, thank you, Mary Adoga. She's like the best makeup artist in the whole of Nigeria. Yes, I said that. And of course, until next week, I am Bethlehem McCauley, your host, and this is Entertainment Gist on Thab TV. Do not forget, like, subscribe, leave comments, and of course, click the notification buttons, as you would definitely want to know when we drop fabulous, fabulous items, because we always do that. And of course, enjoy the rest of your day. Now, before you start killing yourself, this is per Sorry. Star Lord.